Good morning. Welcome to the Narrowboat Good Life. Well, it might not be the morning where people are, but it's morning here. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, what time to watch it? Who yeah. knows? Might yeah. be probably midnight. Good day to you. Good evening. <laughs> Good day, mate. <laughs> there are some Australians. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was poor. <laughs> was it? <laughs> no weather for a barbie anyway. No. And today we're going through Milton Keynes. Yeah. Um, and Milton Keynes is really quite a weird city for for England and Britain really because it, it sprouted up after the Second World War. It's man-made, isn't it? <laughs> Do no. I always say no. really stupid things? God made it. Oh shoot. One of the gods. Oh, you know what I mean. It's it was it was a it's a it's new a, city. Anyway. It's a new city, and it's really quite weird because it's probably a little bit more built like it is in America and, and Australia, where it's it's grid, it's a grid road system, really wide boulevards. Yeah, I drove through it yesterday, and it was it's all one way, and it's like um, and it, it turned on to H two on my sat <laughs> and I was like, what's H two? What happened to A roads and B roads? No, they're H roads. Oh, yeah. Where normal cities in England are really. You know, the design for horse and carriages and really narrowed roads and not designed for great big HGV lorries to go in through all cities. You know, they're not well planned for cars, are they? No. So um, I think we'll go We'll go into Milton Keynes, have a look. It's okay. Well, we have been told that the canal through Milton Keynes is really nice, so we'll wait and see. Yeah. So this vlog, this is, um, we're going to go all the way through Milton Keynes and show what it's like where it's not beautiful countryside or beautiful scenery. And this is the first city we've been through. Since Leicester. And that's nearly a year ago. That was last May. May. Last May. So you can see that going through, going through cities isn't that common. Really? No, true. We're not avoiding them. We've just no. not come across them. Been through some towns and stuff. That's the aqueduct. Oh yeah, and we're about to go over... What's this aqueduct called? It's called Iron Trunk Aqueduct. And it goes over the Great Ooze River. Oh, it's a long way down. Yeah, it's a fast flowing river actually. Yeah. I ran all the way down there yesterday. I ran all the way around there. Very small. Yeah. It's not the Ponticillic, but that's Well, me. no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, if you blink, you miss it. It's still quite high though. Your edge, your edge there was quite, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to fall in there. No, hold on to this one tight. So Rosie's been in, uh, had her last injection yesterday. Yeah. So she's out and about as of today, aren't you? First walkies later, first proper walkies. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be nice. Yep. Ralph is here, by the way, he's just down here. He's down here, around our feet. We've got both of them out, so <laughs> we're not, we're not uh, excluding <laughs> Ralph. Ralph is here. <laughs> So, we'll show you some footage and we'll check in later. See you later. Toodaloo. Milton Keynes is about 50 miles northwest of London and was built from the late 1960s. Originally a large town, it gained city status in August 2022. When you first come into towns and cities, the first thing you notice is the increase in graffiti on the walls. And that's what we expected going into Milton Keynes. But other than this, there was very little.
After a short time passing a few industrial sites, we came across Great Linford Manor Park, which looked ideal to give Rosie her first proper walk, and obviously a trip to the pub. So when we left you this morning, <laughs> we had three layers on. I had four. Four. Four layers. He's niche. And it was cloudy, grey and miserable. Then we went to the pub and the sun god came out. Hey! <laughs> so we took Rosie for our first walk. Our first trip to the pub. And she loved it. What, the pub or the walk? The walk, I think. The walk, yeah. More than the pub. But yeah, she was yeah. ever so good. Yeah, she really good. So she's now flat out because she's not uh, knackered. <laughs> we didn't get very far, did we? We've done about four miles, I think. Yeah. And then we saw a pub. I thought, but it's Ooh. been beautiful here. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, quite impressive, it, actually. Yeah, so lovely. Far, Milton Keynes. Yeah, lovely nice. park. Beautiful um, park. Nice woodland walks. So yeah, really, really nice. You wouldn't think you were in the middle of a city, really. No. Okay. So let's go chugging. Chug, chug, chug. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> See you later. Doodaloo. Fun park. Oh. Come on, Roz. Scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Take over the whole way. This is as fast as we go. It's seven miles from here. It's seven miles already. This new development will hopefully be the start of the planned Bedford to Milton Keynes Waterway Park, which is a planned 16 mile long new broad canal and parklands joining the Grand Union to the River Great Ouse.
Hello. 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 No, no biting. No biting. Hello. No biting. Day two. Day two. And we're probably about halfway through Milton Keys. No, we're nearly finished. Are uh, we? Well, we're we're about here. <laughs> we're about here. <laughs> we're over halfway. We did we're halfway. we did the majority of it yesterday, but it was so nice that we just decided to stop and more up. Halfway through, yeah. It's really surprising how nice it is because we've been through cities before, and it's really they're really industrialised. Got a load, old, load of old factories. Um, or really close to housing states. I think the difference is because Milton Keynes was built after the canals were built, it's been built in a, in a very different way. Whereas the, the towns and cities that the canals were built through, it was to transport yeah, goods, goods, sort of goods into in, the city. Into the cities. So, um, I mean, Milton Keynes has got um, something called the Park Trust, and the parks and the footpaths and everything that it's both sides of the canal are just beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. And it's all very well maintained um, and just really, really lovely. Oh, we've just gone past a great big wide beam called Believe. Um, sorry, I didn't get your name. So we had, a, we had a long chat with him, didn't we? we were, at the water we're, point, at the yeah. Water point. And he's, he's been stuck there for two weeks. He's got probably another month to go, he said, at least. He's got ducks. He's got a duck um, sitting on some eggs in a flower pot on his bow. So um, the rules are if a, if a bird um, nests on your boat, then you can't move. Um, and she said 13 eggs. 13. 13. The, the pot didn't look big enough. Well, the, we'll duck, the duck doesn't look big enough. We'll show you. <laughs> How'd you get 13? Wow. wow. A lot of little chickies. This is the only lock in Milton Keynes, which made the journey through quite easy and relaxing. After this lock, we started the journey down to Leighton Buzzard.
Oh yeah, so we've just come, oh, well, we're coming through Leighton Buzzard. Yes, we just stopped at Tesco's. They've got a little two hour morning for shopping. So, so we got stocked up. Yep. And we've been stayed here last night, just for one night, at the Globe Pub. Yeah. Really nice, we're really, there for a few drinks. Nice summer's evening, wasn't it? Well, spring evening. The spring sun was evening. out. Yeah. Sun's out today, though. It's warm. And we've got a big chug today, so we've got to get from Leighton Buzzard and we're going down to the Aylesbury Hall. So down to Marsworth. Marsworth, which is about, I think it's about 10 miles from here. Eight, like, eight ten miles. Um, two, three locks. Oh, it's more than two or three. Is it? You're going busy. Oh. In your cocoa pants. In my cocoa pants. <laughs> cocoa. He calls them clown pants. <laughs> You'll see them in a bit. But I like them. <laughs> They're boaty. They're boaty. Your summer boaty wear. Yes. Yeah, so uh, a few hours down there, maybe a, maybe a pint along the way, I think there's a pub along the way. Yeah, there's a pub at Grove Lock, so for there, oh, it's after 12. Definitely. We'll so be at Grove Lock <laughs> in about an hour and a half. Yes. So we'll see you at the pub. Yes. See you later. <laughs> Doodaloo. Oh, it's hard life. So we've just been to this pub at Grove Lock. And yes. <laughs> Wish we in. Most expensive pint we've ever had. £6.25. For a pint of beer. A pint of pale ale. So, so it was £9.15 for a pint and half a cider. Yeah, so we weren't very impressed. I mean, it was a nice place, but... It was a nice pint, to be honest. It was really nice. I well, enjoyed it. It was recommended. I bloody enjoyed it. I made sure I absolutely savoured every... I mean, I sucked out every bit of foam. <laughs> I just slicked it out. <laughs> I want to get money's worth out of that. The pub was recommended by an old friend of mine from Cadet. It's called Ross. So, hi, Ross. Great pub. Not great yeah. prices. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bit windy today, so we're not going to do a lot of talking. I'm not sure you can hear us anyway, so we'll just do some filming of the scenery. So see you later. Do Bye. You As we were heading to Marsworth, we noticed these strange buildings, but later found out it's a film set for the musical Wicked. Hi, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we really enjoyed Milton Keynes, didn't we? Yeah, really enjoyed it, and the, it's um, it was surprising actually. Didn't yeah. think it'd be like that. Yeah, the parks were lovely. All the footpaths and everything. They've they've made a really good job yeah, of that. Yeah, there's loads of country walks and everything to do. So, um, it wasn't industri industrialised at all, and no. um, yeah, some really nice gardens as you go through. So there's lots to see. I mean, we spent a couple of days there, really. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Trying to trying to cruise through. We didn't think it. we'd moor up in the middle, and we did. No, we didn't. Not at all. And found a really nice mooring. Yeah, and it was it, sunny. Yeah. Not like now. Not like now. No, it's raining. It's mm. never. It's not always romanticised. <laughs> living on a canal boat, there's a lot yeah. of mud and rain. I know, and we just have to stay indoors when it rains. Yeah. Oh well. No mind. Selavi. Mm. And Leighton Buzzard was nice as well. Oh yeah, really enjoyed that. And it was great, they had a shopping spot. 
shopping mooring spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we could stop um, right beside the Tesco's, which yeah, was cool. Really handy. Yeah. So, so if you did like that video, please do give us a thumbs up. And um, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know when we next release a video, which we're doing every week at the moment. Yeah, we're busy. Yeah. Well, you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot, lot more cruising to be done. Yeah. So exactly. uh, I'm heading down towards London. And so we'll see a lot more graffiti, I'm sure. A yeah. lot more industrialised towns. Yeah. On but, the way down. But it's all interesting and it's it's nice seeing different parts of the canal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Yeah. It's great. And also a big thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and everybody who leaves us a comment. We do read every single one. So if you've got anything that you'd like to say to us, then please just do pop it in the little box below. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Okay. Cheers, guys. Toodaloo. Bye. Time for juice tonight. <sighs> Dry night. Dry night.